Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, brand new video by Rational Believer. Today, we're going to watch the end time series part six. The world is ready for the arrival of the biggest fitna, the Dajjal. So no matter who I talk to, be it Muslims, Christians or Jews, nobody knows of the last hour. Obviously, this is up to God. However, most people have to assume that we are truly entering the end times. If you look around you, I don't have to explain this for you. Just look at the degeneracy. Most of the signs are already established. I'm very excited to see what today's video has to say about the Dajjal. With no further ado, let's have a look. The editing is amazing, man. Hello, Salam Network. We will have to mute the sound and I will read it out because Salam Network is copyright striking my channel. Thank you very much, Salam Network. I will surely make disobedience attractive to them on earth and I will mislead them all. Except among them, your chosen servants. We are witnessing a great change in the world. A materialistic world full of deception and trials, in which Iblis and his loyal army make the ugliness look beautiful in your eyes and present it to you as worldly pleasures yeah, to deceive you. Yeah, absolutely, man. It was so shocking to me. My wife put on a podcast of two females discussing how they started their OnlyFans now and now all of a sudden they are depressed. Both women were already somewhat successful YouTubers, so they already made a good amount of money. Surely it was enough for them to cover an even above average lifestyle, but they didn't get enough. The greed got the best of them. So they looked around and they saw that in this day and age, people make phenomenal money with OnlyFans. So they started an OnlyFans. Just watching this, man, the women that were 20, 21, still relatively young, absolutely repulsive to see how they fell for the this trap. Now they're getting depressed and they don't understand why. At the same time, they don't want to quit OnlyFans now because they're making too much money. Now they're telling themselves, I'm just going to continue with this until I have enough money and started another business that makes at least the same amount. Absolutely saddening story, which is enabled, of course, by our society. Listen, guys, I'm getting old, man. Back in the day, when there was a nude that leaked, people would get embarrassed. It would ruin their whole careers. But nowadays, everybody is posting not only nudes, but all kinds of filthy immoral acts. And they're proud of it because they're making money. So I have to repeat this passage of the Bible yet again. Not money is the root of all evil, but the love of money surely is. The evil and corruption is reaching its climax. So we are living in sure. a time of the great fit. Fitness. Fitna is a very deep concept in Islam. A fitna can be a trial or a tribulation, a type of punishment. A fitna can also be a test that you're put under. A fitna can also be a gray area where you're not sure which way to go. You don't know whether to go to the left or to the right. You're in a state of confusion. That may be one of the worst forms of fitna. And so that is striking our community today. There is nothing more debilitating of not knowing where to go. If you truly lost the path and you have no answers within yourself, I would clearly say that this is the worst state to be in. Fitan will be so much, fitan will be everywhere like dark night. As you are living in that pitch dark night, you will be unable to see anything. In that time, the Prophet ﷺ said, a person will be in the morning a mu'min. He didn't say Muslim. He said mu'min means he's a believer. And in the same night, the same person will be kafir. Allahu Akbar. 
Can you imagine what kind of fitting that we will live in or we will Sure, man, that makes absolute sense, of course. And I witnessed this in Germany as well. I had many Muslim friends that would go to the mosque on Friday, being a believer. And then in the same night, they would go to the clubs and commit adultery. We're living in actually. The Prophet says, There will be more fitan will come every time. Each fitna will come. It will be more horrific and more destructive than the previous fitna. Which yes. means the fitan that we are living right now, it is more severe than the fitan last year or two years or five years ago. And then the next year and the coming up year, years, three, two, four, five years, it will be more horrific and it will be more terrifying and it will be more destructive fitna that people will face may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and this is what the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam says that each fitna will come it will be more severe yeah the fitna entered your home i have to repeat it yet again think about it logically man back in the day and it's not that long ago maybe 10 15 years ago if a woman actually wanted to go down this extreme path of immorality she would have to go to an agency that would cast her then and then she could get a role in a graphic movie nowadays she doesn't have to do that all she needs is her phone a webcam or whatnot and she can commit the same adultery from the comfort of her home she's already warmed up to that idea of course through pornography because people nowadays feel comfortable in having with machines they're sitting in front of their computer or in front of their phone and they're having literal sex with that machine yes of course you can call it masturbation but in the reality of things is they are holding caressing those machines having sex with them so now what is the difference all they have to do is press a record button and then upload it to the internet don't you see think about it again logically if a woman wanted to be a prostitute back in the day wanted to be she would have to go to a pimp she would have to go into that red light district into that dangerous environment and then start working there physically doing something this of course takes much more courage and i'm not saying that this is great but it takes much more courage to do that than putting on your webcam so therefore this fitna truly entered your house and now there is no escaping it even if you're not participating in it you see it everywhere you just put on youtube man as i said previously you're watching a video about two women talking and all they talk about is degeneracy man they're talking openly about exposing their bodies on camera for everybody to see doing all all kinds of filthy acts as i said previously it's not only naked pictures anymore man they are performing all kinds of sexual acts on camera to attract more customers to attract more money those are digital prostitutes than the previous one repulsive man do you know why evil and corruption is hyping to its peak because we live in a world that's strangely controlled by sick people they yes. spend billions of dollars every year to promote indecency, immorality, corruption, atheism, and instilling their lies into yes. the public mind yes. through the media and yes. politics. And those people that follow all of this gunk believe that they don't follow a religion. Truly, they really believe that they are free. I'm not religious. I don't hold any beliefs. No, but you do hold the belief of atheism. You do hold the belief of same-sex marriage, of pro-choice and what not. Of course, you are indoctrinated. Even we worse are opposed than a religious around belief. the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence. I like this channel, man. It is a system it's which has been scripted. Fantastic Vast job. human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and military political operations. Military industrial complex. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. And if someone wants to criticize them, then he will be suppressed by They're the system. The ones yep. That control the transnational corporations, governments, the banking system, the whole All shebang that um, 
dictates and uh, controls the direction of society. Um, they can do horrendous things that we couldn't even contemplate because we have empathy with the victims of our actions. They do not. No. Without that emotional consequence, there are no limits. And we see that on the news every day. One of the signs of the Day of Judgment is what? That this is essentially the claim of naturalism as well in its fulfilled form, that there is no empathy in nature, that everything just is. And if you see a lion eating a gazelle, well, that's just what it is. There is no moral implication. Life eats life. And the same applies to the mindset of the elites. They believe that they are transcendent because they don't fall into our religious dogma of good and evil. Good and evil is just a man-made concept in their mind. It does not exist. I can literally do what Whatever I want. The person is sitting in maybe Control. end of the world and he will say kalimatan, he will say a word of lie and that word will go all the way from Mashriq till Maghrib, from east till west. And this is what happening. A person is sitting in front yep. of a TV or a social media and whatsoever. People just lying and people are just saying things which is not true and other people are believing. Yeah, all the time. And they always have studies to prove it as well. Yes, eat only vegetables, it's healthy. My brothers and sisters, we used to live in a time when we used to do the munkar. We used to reject and deny and say zina is haram. But today's time we deny and reject and we say the action of home loot is haram. And we're telling and talking to the people because zina becomes something yani normal, unfortunately, right? So we are telling people right normal. now that the Qawm Lut and the Amal Qawm Lut and whatsoever they are doing, it's Bleh. so severe. Be away from it. Allahu A'lam what will come in future. May Allah protect us. Before we used to, my brothers and sisters, say al khamar Haram and we used to say Al-Kahul, we reject Al-Kahul and we say it's Haram and we used to do the Munkar of Al-Kahul. Nowadays, we are telling people that we reject and deny the drugs and all forms of the drugs that is everywhere, right? Sure. Call it pills call it candies, call it whatsoever, everywhere. Subhanallah. Before we used to call to people and we do the munkar, we used to reject and deny the women who are wearing, not wearing hijab or putting makeup and perfume and going outside. And we used to deny that and reject that. But now we are rejecting and denying and doing the munkar of those men copying yeah. and following and imitating women. Subhanallah. This is actually a very fair point because he mentions that the women back in the day that were not covered were rejected. Really think about this. It is up to us men to reject those women. Nowadays, for example, people like to talk about red pill. They like to talk about how evil, evil those women are. But are you not going after those women? People are talking about, oh, degeneracy. But then they're going after the same degeneracy. They're saying, oh, look at that slut. But then they go out and have with women. That is the greatest state of hypocrisy to be in. Don't you understand that you're promoting the very evil that you are allegedly fighting against? There is only one path to fight degeneracy actively. You will have to abstain from it yourself. I know it's hard, but you cannot slut shame if you're going after sluts. Is LGB and whatsoever you call it. And if you say out loud and you ABC. talk about it in a halal way and a right way and as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling you to do, you will be the criminal. You will be stopped from the traveling. You will have the travel ban. You will be accused as a criminal. You will be, you know, put fine on you. You will be jailed. Why? Because sure. you said the haq at the time when there is, unfortunately, they are making the haq haram and haram haq and halal haram. Yep. Subhanallah. And wala hawla wala quwwata illa billah. This is the time that we are living in. That everything that you will truth. do right, it is wrong. And everything that you do wrong, it is, you know, going with the flow. And go everyone with the flow, is bro. going with the flow. Exactly. Subhanallah. All easy, man. Just go with the flow. The system offers you worldly pleasures Be that you will never get <laughs> unless you become a part Be of the system and serve it. And do you know what it makes of you? A slave. Or in other words, you have to sell your deen to get the dunya. This is indeed a business, a deceptive business, which will end up with an irreparable loss. Yubi'una <laughs> akhlaqahum min ajl they're selling their deen, they're selling their principles, they're selling whatsoever they have from morality and everything because of this dunya. Imagine someone is selling the deen because of a little bit of money, bugs, dinars, dirham. 
or a position or what yeah sure but moreover than that those people really don't understand anymore what the religion is teaching yet again if you look into this day and age people are getting brainwashed by the secular system that religion is stupid and backwards this is really what they believe and even if they come from a religious household after a while they buy into the ideas of saying yeah, well, maybe not everything about it is really right now. Some good things you can find in religion, you know, be nice to your neighbors and whatnot. But I don't believe everything literally now. And this, of course, is a slippery slope because then you start believing the things that are being fed to you and you start discarding religion as something vague. At the same time, you will start accepting science as something very valuable and 100% accurate, of course. And this is why if you look into liberal YouTube or whatnot, people always have to show you the studies. And people just gulp it down. They watch those people listing studies on YouTube. And yes, therefore they must be right. There's the study. <laughs> from the wow. dust or from the rubbish of this dunya and they have no problem with it. This is the time that we are living in, that everything is changing. Changing so fast that you don't know what to do and what not to do. How you protect yourself and your families. Right on. So these seditions are increasing rapidly day by day in order to prepare the world for the arrival of the biggest fitna. The Prophet ﷺ said, O oh my people, there has been no fitna on the face of this earth, no trial on the face of this earth since Allah Azza wa Jal created the children of Adam, the offspring guy, of Adam. Man. Like there has been no trial on this earth and there will be no trial on this earth until the day of judgment that is greater than the trial of the Messiah Dajjal. Dear viewers, what you are going to see in the next few episodes of this series is a research-based documentary about the arrival of Al-Masih al-Dajjal, Yajuj and Majuj, and the state of Muslim Ummah on those severe times. Since these are of the great signs of the hour and the biggest tribulations in the history of mankind, the whole topic needs a real analytical research. Therefore, we have put a lot of time and effort to produce this documentary, which will be different from most documentaries and films you have ever seen. So by acquiring this knowledge, you can prepare yourself against these great fitnas, inshallah. That's amazing, man. Go support this channel. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. Rational Believer is an absolutely amazing channel. Go over there, support the channel, donate if you can, because I believe that Rational Believer is the only channel that truly pinpoints the elites that are behind this all. It is very important for religious believers to understand that there is an elite that is actively fighting against faith. In the Orthodox Christian faith, we had the same conception of this elitist group that is spreading their pharmaceuticals, military interventions, and of course their technocracy. I believe that now it is more important than ever for us people to stay away from the technology as much as we can and return to nature. Yes, really, whatever it takes, even if it is just a fishing trip, a camping trip, just going outside into the nearby nature, forests, oceans, and whatnot to reset yourself. Stay away from your phone for one day at least to truly be able to see the signs of the times because the degeneracy is bombarding us through our devices. People are raised up as heroes fighting allegedly against this evil, evil system. But you're not understanding that they are tricking you as well. A person that is not promoting God and is discouraging you from sin is a puppet of the state. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel via Patreon, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.